device closure of atrial septal defect is almost replacing surgical AST closure in all cases with suitable morphology. Percutaneous AST closure is usually well tolerated. A rare complication in literature following device closure of AST is pulmonary edema. Acute pulmonary edema is well reported after surgical closure of AST, especially in elderly, when a sudden increase in preload of a poorly compliant and small left ventricle leads to diastolic heart failure. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. One of the earliest reports of left heart failure after device closure of AST was in a 78-year-old female who had a left ventricular ejection fraction of 65%. She developed acute left ventricular failure and pulmonary edema two hours after device closure of AST with LV ejection fraction of 20%. She needed mechanical ventilation, catecholamine support and high-dose diuretics. She had to be in hospital for two weeks after the procedure. Low preload which was there due to AST for decades would have predisposed for LV failure with sudden increase in preload after device closure of AST. Similar episodes have been reported by other workers as well. In a large series of 529 patients undergoing AST device closure between 1998 and 2008, Tomar and Associates had three patients with transient pulmonary edema. They needed intensive care for two days post-procedure. Robert and colleagues successfully used left ventricular preconditioning to prevent acute left ventricular failure in patients aged above 60 years undergoing device closure of AST. They assessed the response to balloon occlusion of AST and if mean atrial pressures rose over 10 mm of mercury, device closure was deferred and LV preconditioning applied. LV conditioning was with dopamine, milrinone and furosemide 48 to 72 hours prior to definitive AST closure. This was needed in one fourth of their elderly patients. Device closure was done after conditioning in all but two who were given fenestrated device because atrial pressures remained above 10 mm of mercury even after pretreatment. First set of references. Second set of references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.